Hello, this is Thomas. In today's video, we're going to look into home automation and how you can do that with Home Assistant on the Raspberry Pi. All right, so let's start with the very basic question. What is Home Assistant? So Home Assistant is an open source software that allows you to connect several devices to it and eventually automate uh, your home. So for instance, um, if a sensor in a particular room is triggered, then lights in that same room are also switched on or off. Okay, so uh, it allows us to create these automations and uh, make our home more intelligent. So firstly, we're going to install the Home Assistant OS on the SD card. We are following this uh, URL, which is the official guide from Home Assistant. Um, we will be also adding this link in the video description below. Okay, so the suggested hardware for this uh, OS is the Raspberry Pi 4. You can still work with the Raspberry Pi 3, however, it is highly recommended that you stick to the Raspberry Pi 4. You would of course need a micro SD card, which should be of size 32 gig or larger, and uh, an SD card reader of course, and uh, an Ethernet cable which is required for installation. Okay, um, so uh, we need to write the image on the SD card and for that we're going to download uh, Balena Etcher which is, uh, which is uh, available for download, it's free and we're going to opt for the flash from URL option Next, we just need to scroll down, copy this link make sure this is the link for Raspberry Pi for 64 bit go back to Balena Etcher paste the link, hit OK, this will take a few seconds and then make sure that you are on the, you are writing on the SD card, in my case this is a 64 gig version and then just hit flash. This will take a few minutes depending on your hardware and then the next step would be to put the SD card in the Raspberry Pi and switch it on. Okay, so now that the flashing is complete, I have inserted the SD card into the Raspberry Pi, I've connected the Ethernet cable as well as the power source, and uh, now I can open a new browser window and type HTTP colon double forward slash home assistant dot local colon eight one two three. Press enter and you should get this screen which says preparing home assistant. This can take up to 20 minutes as this is currently downloading the um, important some important files and uh, you know installing some 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 stuff. So sit back and relax. We'll be back when this is done. Okay, so uh, approximately 20 minutes have passed and uh, we now have this screen which uh, allows us to uh, create our very first user. So I'm just going to put my name over here, a password, all right, let's create the account and uh, now you can give a name to your home assistant installation. You can pick um, uh, your uh, uh, desired uh, time zone over here. So I'm going to select Malta. We'll use the metric currency. Doesn't really matter at this point. Next. So uh, you can also share some information from your installation to help uh, Home Assistant better. Keep in mind this is open source so if you would like to share these you just need to switch on all these um, options all right so uh, immediately you will get a list of uh, devices that you can add to your to your home assistant installation and uh, at this point i'm just going to i'm just going to skip this process know that you you can also set up the integrations from here I'm just going to skip this for now and uh, in introduce you to uh, the UI. 
So this is the screen you're presented with after the initial setup. This is usually referred to as the dashboard or the overview. And over here you can already see that we have uh, four devices or entities added to the dashboard. Uh, the first one would be the user. Uh, the second one is the binary sensor that is, shows the power status of the actual Raspberry Pi. And then we have two Google Cast speakers that were automatically detected because they are um, um, on the same network. There were other devices that were also detected, but I did not add them yet. Uh, so if we go to the settings menu and devices and services over here, you can already see uh, the list of integrations that were added automatically. I haven't added anything yet. And if we look at this Google Cast integration and click on these three devices, we can actually see over here that I have two Google Nest Minis installed and a group um, um, which, uh, which is able to control both of them at the same time. If we go back to the overview, we can interact with uh, one of these speakers. I have happened to move one of the speakers which is which is behind me and I can go straight away with switching it on and uh, I can also play some media just by pressing on this browse media button local media I have uh, uploaded the, these um, these mp3s uh, already and as soon as I press play the speaker will start playing that song. I can also adjust the volume. As you can see, it's quite, it's quite fast. I can turn it off and I can also opt to uh, say something using text-to-speech, for example. This is Thomas from TGNB. So that's it with uh, setting up Home Assistant on the Raspberry Pi. In the next video, we'll go through how to set up Home Assistant further, how you can add devices to um, Home Assistant, as well as how you can set up automations to automate uh, the integrations. We hope that you have found this video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe.